Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas if you're still loading the map. Did you just sneakily beep? I think it just said sneaky beeping. It was amazing. I love it. There's a bent in can in this huddle. Good to know they have these very high quality housing situations going on for them. Yeah. Don't at all expect to be sarcastic about that. Alright, now. I wonder if the rocket slayer player is actually of any use in some situations or not. I also know this set looks silly. <laughs> Get that back for me. Just for that additional perception, really. Because that's gonna be helpful. I think. Maybe. But I would hope so, because it sounds like the sort of thing we need, really. Alright, I wonder how many additional warheads are there here to blow up. There's one already. Sure. Apparently one of the cars still had a working alarm, which is kinda surprising. Yeah. Nice bridge. How much? Alright. Collapsed overpass tunnel. Please tell me there's a warhead in here. Because otherwise I may have to resort to something else. Oh, no, that's into the collapsed tunnel, no. Not yet. There is supposed to be one more warhead in the area. I don't know, so I've heard. If I fall down there, will I be able to get out? I have to wonder. Oop. Well, now I really have no idea where that... Last one might be. I still want to find it, yeah? Also, probably should not walk up to the enemy. Probably. Alright, you're in caution now? Or because of that guy? Or alternatively, this guy. Hello! Did we? You fucker! Keeps abusing my watch abilities. Yeah. Sorry dude, but you got to be cut up instead then. Nothing else can be done about that. It's just it's just the only way. Oh apparently he didn't die. Well. That's good news for him until up to the point that he did die. Yes. Nice. Alright, so... Looks like there's some meat pieces going on here. Very meaty meat pieces. Yes, there's a warhead here. Awesome. Now, I don't know how many warheads there are in the other areas, but I... May have accidentally looked into the, how many were in here. Just so I would know how many explosions I would have to cause. The answer is tons! Well, really, I need to. Do like what? 30? 30, 30 explosions at first. And then we can look into other things. Is the point fifty MG also for large rifle primers? Because it sounds like it should be. I'm gonna try it out as soon as we find another table, or as soon as I decide to talk to Edie. Hi! Tell me about it. Yes. R.50 milligrams... No, it costs... 
it uses different primers to anything else, so never mind. Never mind at all. So as you know, primers are the largest difficulty in getting me 308 ammo. But to be fair, at the moment we are doing well. We're doing very well. We have ammo to last forever. Or at least until Tuesday. Why do you stay, may I ask? I don't know. You know, it's the sort of... Sounds like a Tuesday situation, you know? I can't climb this ladder. How horrible. At least I can have these rockets. And the log from Ulysses. 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 I don't know. Emptiness here. Like the sands of the great salt lake. Echoed, the beating in the divide sky, like storm drums of the white legs. Ran with them on the salt beds at Kaiser's command. Cut the throats of the two-headed bear, cut all communities off. You storm, sky, disease, fire, starvation, and the violence of the ignorant to ruin all who could, might, stand against him. The white legs. They couldn't live on their own like most scavengers. So gave them purpose. Turned their hunger into a weapon. The wall of new Canaan. Too high for Kaiser. Too proud, maybe. Or maybe something there from his past that needed killing. Memory of Graham. Help them dig out Canaan's supply caches and other secrets the sands hid. Bunkers filled with powered weapons even the Brotherhood might desire. They call these new weapons storm drums in the firing of shells. Taught them the power in the casings to channel the spirits in their guns. Me. They called me the flag bearer. Glory in my hand, in my staff that still bore the weight of the old world, just as the symbol on my back did. I learned their weapons as a means of respect, and when it came their turn to pay respect to me, history came rushing back. Can't escape what's been done. History's there, no matter how far you walk. Okay. I don't believe it. Grant actually went to Colonel Autumn and got approval for her damned efficiency guidelines. All experiments will be carried out with the test subject fully active to reduce iteration time. It's barbaric. I've explained this to the Colonel. Just because the iBots don't have true AI doesn't mean they're just machines. I guess results are all that matter around here. Forget things like ethical procedures or humane treatment. I'm starting to have serious misgivings about leadership around here. At least I've got you to talk to, hi Eddie. I can't believe they approved that. I've met enough robots to know they're more than just machines. <coughs> Whitley was really protective of his iPods then, huh? He sounds more like a father than an inventor in these logs. He must have tried to change things. He doesn't seem like the type to let this slide. Alright, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Be happy, my friend. No, no fear in your beeping. Because that was a yellow marker. Yellow markers are friends. It's true. Even when they might change their mind and come and attack us and actually literally tear our head off, they are friends. Where'd you go, Edie? Edie? Whichever. Right. I insisted on calling her Edie still. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna take your rocket, sir. Hmm. How did you keep your skin, sir? At 6 a.m., Bravo team will conduct sweep and clear operations in advance of the main force. Early intelligence suggests that tunnels are only sparsely populated by small subterranean semi-humanoids. 
which are easily caused by bright light and loud noises. Bravo team has been issued flashback grenades for this purpose and is expected to meet minimal resistance. Nice, another nail gun. Like, do they seriously use nail guns as their primary weapons here? That seems a little bit silly. Alright, I wonder at what point that the Deathclaw will come back to us and be like, Hey, actually I want to kill you. Because I think the guy might do just that. Alright. Maybe. I can hear his stomach rumble. Or maybe it's not his stomach, maybe it's just... You know, whatever. Hello, you seem to be something new. I thought we saw a death claw. Maybe the death claw is also in these tunnels, but it's just not... This fucker? Oh, escape fungus! And some tunnel hide. Huh. I wonder if anything good can be made from their hide. Like a tunnel hide outfit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hello. What are you doing down there? But that's a new donator. How many are there? Ow. I think the lesson here is clear. Either one shot the buggers or completely ignore them. Did another one just spawn in at the same location? Yeah, he did. And then there's this guy over here. Nice, nice, very nice. Okay, but... Uh, Alright, we have one of these again. Mind you, this guy is probably gonna cause us a lot of trouble if we don't cut him up. I think he hurt E.D. real bad. So this was a terrible location for an ambush. Terrible. Admitted it works pretty well for them, but you know. I would not have liked to be ambushed here. Indeed, I did not like being ambushed here. I got killed once. Like an entire time was me being dead. Imagine that. Alright, um... What happened to the second tunneler? Did they just farp around like nobody's business? Trying to do stealth in this situation is really silly. Because you don't know where or when they will spawn in. Because the situation certainly looks like they're just spawning in. Did you find anything, Giddy? No, you just don't like these tunnels. I can... I can agree with your assessment of that situation, honestly. Indeed, where's our flare gun? Maybe we should prepare one, you know, just in case. Like for when we get ambushed again. By dozens of enemies at the same time. What's going on over there? Hmm. 
Where's the light source? Why are you flickering, car front thingy? Is there anything in this? Nope. Oh, hello, Edie. This looks like the sort of place they might spawn from. Right. Yeah, apparently tunneling is exactly what they do. Alright. Let's see if this works. Alright, one down. Come on, come on. Bugger off, Tanner. You appear to be the last one standing, so... Get away here. Not the last one standing, okay. I should have gone, gotten the perk that allows me to not fall down and die. <sighs> buggers. Filthy, filthy buggers. I will not accept their rule over me. There's a head. That's one down. Probably is this gonna be... What the hell? Why did I get knocked down? How did I get knocked into stealth? That's a better question. Not to the mind, mind you. I was literally knocked into stealth. I'm gonna quick save. There's a head. Oh, oh. There we go. Is that all of them? They don't even carry any good loot. Which is the worst. It's always the worst. You spend like a ton of ammo on your enemies and they don't have anything of use. Anything. All they've got is crap. All they've got is crap. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Uh. It's kind of interesting. I haven't seen a single warhead down here yet. Maybe there are no warheads down here. But maybe I'm just really bad at finding them. Ah, daddy bear. Thought I would have liked that. Teddy bear in a box. She was all about teddy bears in boxes. I'm not sure if she was really. She might have preferred them to go free. Alright, we can enter the high road now. There you are. You went quiet for a time. New killing bear wouldn't prove easy. You and your machine, you survived. There's a lesson here in the divide. Old world history about paving and intentions could teach the Republic a thing or two, if they listened. They have an idea of trying to do what's right, never quite getting there. Maybe you've seen it. Neptune. Elsewhere. 
You could have been me? Yes. And any courier could tell you the same. See it everywhere. The bear. Bears too busy carving up the Mojave with knives, roads, borders, and how things should be. To see how it is. They're stretched thin. Can't protect their front lines, their towns. Think paper is power. Radio means control. All of it. Useless. No matter now. There. Couldn't hold the divide. You and that machine are all that remains of NCR here. Rest fell to radiation, fire, and what burrows below. What burrows below? You mean those creatures in the underpass? Tunnelers. Predators that make their own roads beneath the ground here. Divide broke their sky, showed them the world above, and the scent of new prey. Be a slower death for the Mojave than bombs and fire. But they'll come for its people, from where they least expect. Below. Radiation from the war might have created them. The detonations, wakes, caused them to surface? Makes sense. Truth favors that. Matches the history of this place. Were signs they were here for a long time. The four marked men. Before what happened to the Divide, it cracked their sky. If so, they were buried deep. Might have been born the day America's embers started to settle. Seen worse things twisted by radiation. When you say still with death for the Mojave, you mean they're spreading out from the Divide? Death will come from below. In the Divide, need to watch the sky and ground. Mojave will be easy prey for them. They'll start emerging throughout the Mojave in time. Might be years. Probably less. They breed fast, hunting groups. More than enough to bring down the strongest in the Mojave. Once they draw blood. Seen them tear apart Deathclaws. Deathclaw might get some. But the rest will swarm it. Tear it apart. Like Denver hounds. Denver's fought the East Legion territory. Mojave and the Divide are the only places I've walked. Walked the East too, before the bull came. Then, much like Mojave before the bear. Tribes, towns, clutching to life. Bull did a better job. Some of the soldiers in Oak were once, were once since here, I'm sure of it. Why were they with the Legion? You see, true. Not scavengers. It's what they wore. Before this all happened, pain makes for strange allies. The hate of the bear and bull shared across the battlefield, now turned against the divide. Few survived, intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened, keeping the route east open in fear of Kaisar, fear of the Legion. Huh. NCR would have needed this supply line open to reinforce the Mojave and toward them. The dam. That old world wall. The bear. NCR. Couldn't be allowed to reach it easily. Long 15. Cayman. Both bad enough. Kimbo. Kaiser. House. You'd think that our world was that wall. Cutting the Colorado. If I'd never laid eyes on it, never spoke of it. But once found, it was all Kaisar could see. That, and the flag beyond it, another symbol, big enough to challenge him. And the Divide, one of the roads to it. Legion was tasked with cutting that artery. If you can't kill the bear in one stroke, Bleed it. Starve it. That kind of murder. It's what any of the Legion would have done. Now, the Divide belongs to history. Uh, some of them had uh, strange masks and blades I've never seen before. They bear false versions of Legate the Muse's mask. The one Kaisar fashioned for him. Thought it was an insult at first. No better now. 
It's shaped from divine metal, not with care and strength, but with hate. Keeps them anchored. Crude, effective, like the blades they carry. Distant mirrors of their legate, a symbol they can hold on to, while the divide tears at them. And the others were carrying NCR gear. For the two head bear, NCR. They don't have symbols in the same way Legion does. They revere their minds and explosives, guns. That is their religion. Death from afar. Take pride in it. I found some recordings from you in Hopevale. The tapes? <laughs> Didn't think those would be found. You know the divide better than I thought. Had tech from the big empty. Recorder a woman gave me. Didn't survive the road. On its last legs. Cast it and the tapes aside. Weren't worth the words anyway. Not like I'd forget what happened. If you heard them. Nothing but ramblings. Reminders for a man who doesn't need them. Probably more lying from here to the divide. You wouldn't have recorded this message if it didn't matter to you. Maybe not. Who's to say? You, perhaps, found them, heard them after I cast them aside. Maybe there was purpose in that. If they matter, if history matters, we'll see at the end of the road. If this is the high road, where does it lead? At the end of the high road lies Ashton. It's Silo. That machine I'm with you. It can open it, wake it up. Like it did the one in Hopeville. You have a lot of hate for the robot with me. I can hear it in your voice. Hate? No. There's nothing to hate in metal, steel, gold, or platinum. You're a machine. It's just a tool, made of wreckage of the Divide. All that was brought here. When we first spoke in Hopesville, you, Hopeville even, you mentioned you'd sworn not to kill me. Why? You know the why of it. If you don't, I do. And that's enough. Joe's trust only walks so far west. Earned more than that, though. Getting this far. We walk the same road. Carry the same colors. Can't break that by making the road red. Want more than that? Walk the divide. Answers will come. Closer you get to home. You and that machine. I've never been here before, at least not this far from the road. Or at least not from this road. Many in the Mali. Think the divide's nothing but canyon and storm. Wasn't always. There was life. A town. Farther west. Not talking about an old world town like Hopeville. More recent. Something you saw in your lifetime. It had the name, the divide, too. But rather than cracks in the earth, it was a road from the west into the Mojave, a supply line. Took a courier to make that road. You. Back then, you saw the road with eyes facing east. This time, the divides in the other direction. And if your eyes try to make sense of it when you reach it, home's not what it was. So you're saying I walked this road once from another direction, from west to east, to home? All roads lead back to one's home. Not your birthplace, maybe. But home. Home isn't where you were born into this world. You taught me that. Part of your message, whether you meant it or not, can be a place of mind. A moment where you know who you are. The history of it. And they can be places you breathe life into. 
Never would have known the divide had it not been for you. The road you made with your tracks again and again. You were the only one willing to make the journey to and from here. A hard road. Kept the land before the divide alive through seasons, storms. Can't have been just a job. Was something more to you. Don't feel for a place that hard unless it's home. I've walked a lot of hard roads who haven't before. Does it mean anything? It means everything. Even if you deny it, cast it aside, that speaks to what you are, proves what happened here. It was you walking that road that kept the divide alive. It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new mission, new beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam, but not old world. Something you made. Road was a supply line. Maybe you should tell me what happened. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Staked a claim whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the Legion comes, bearing messages. Some brought by blade, others by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden. Walk west into the sun and keep walking until it dies. There, I'll be waiting. Well, nicely dinged, I guess. All right, uh, let's see. I could give each of these four points, maybe? Oh, like that, and then we can get five from here. Okay, cool. Done and done. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. It's the first lesson of not being seen. Don't stand up.